second baseman Michael Stefanik managed to extend his season-long on-base streak up to 59 games now with a couple of hits today, all as he continues to chase the all-time minor league record. But Stefanik's story goes much deeper than that, as uh, everything you're seeing now nearly didn't come to be. He grew up just up the road in Boise. Came down to Salt Lake a lot. You know, growing up to play some tournaments. But after a successful high school and collegiate career, it was time to throw his name in the ring. The 2018 Major League Baseball Draft. I kind of was told that I was going to get drafted and uh, it didn't end up happening. So um, I was kind of in a, a dark place mentally, thought my career was over. And for many, it probably would have been. But for Michael Stefanik, he had a wild card up his sleeve determination. My girlfriend at the time had a really good family friend who was in the front office of the, the Padres and I kind of knew of him and sat down with him at his house in Southern California and was just like, hey man, like I feel like I can play in the big leagues. Like what can I do to get my foot in the door? He was told that teams know what they want and if you're not on the radar by now, odds are slim, though he was pointed in the right direction. He gave me this, you know, list of people to send basically a baseball resume via email and a, a link to a YouTube. It was essentially like a college recruiting video. And so he did to all 30 MLB organizations, in fact, just waiting for a hit. Um, started applying for some jobs and then kind of out of nowhere, the Angels called me. Needing a body in their middle infield at the time to fill in at the Arizona League, it was pure luck. He would start at the bottom, but Stefanik was in. How soon can you get out to Arizona? And I told him tomorrow, so I packed up all my stuff and I drove out. And it was weeks later that he would move to the Beehive State for the first time. The Orem Owls once acted as LA's rookie league club. In fact, Stefanik still lives with the very same Utah County family he did back then. He would spend 2019 outside Utah, only to return two years later. After shredding up the minors, it was time for Triple A. Line drive, base hit, right field. Palmero in from third. Here comes Fletcher. No throw. Stefanik comes through. Of course, once you get here, the goal for any baseball player is not to stay here. And by 2022, it was time for the real debut. That's a kind of a crazy story in of itself. Last July, the Bees are on the road in Tacoma when just like many years before, the Angels called again. This time right before game time. Stefanik suddenly found himself on an 11 o'clock flight that ended up getting delayed due to a mechanical issue on the plane. The Halos, meanwhile, were just wrapping up a three-game set in Houston the next afternoon. And he didn't even arrive until just a couple hours before first pitch. I was supposed to like sleep for a couple hours, but they were just like, the bus is here to go to the ballpark, like you gotta go. Michael Stefanik makes his major league debut. It would take a bit for the broadcasters to get the pronunciation down, and it would take Stefanik a bit to get his swing down. Swing and a miss. That was a tough day. I think I had three punch outs, but uh, you know, it was surreal, and honestly, I couldn't even tell you what the Houston clubhouse looks like. Such a whirlwind of an experience. He had gone from undrafted to the top in only four years' time before reality set in again. After 25 games, he was back down with the Bees. I've never seen anything like this. No one watches more Bees baseball than longtime broadcaster Steve Klauke. Stefanik's current on-base streak began during the final two games of the 2022 campaign only to continue every game thus far in 2023. 2-2 pitch, swung on, smashed to the left center field, that's a base hit. The franchise record before this was 43 games by an infielder named Kyle Kubica back in 2015. You not only need to be a great hitter to do this, but extremely disciplined. You pride yourself on that? It's just about being consistent, and it's just something where it's a goal of mine. It's kind of my job. I don't hit a lot of home runs, so getting on base is kind of my thing, whether it's getting a hit or taking a walk or whatever, um, something I try to do every game. There have been several times where he's extended the streak just by a walk or in a couple of cases getting hit by a pitch, whatever it takes to get on base, because the criteria is has to be a hit, a walk, or a hit by pitch. The minor league record is 71, set by Kevin Euclid and Kevin Millar, putting Stefanik only 12 away from that, 
while the Major League record was set all the way back in 1949 by the great Ted Williams. And it's no coincidence that number six dug up whatever film reel he could. I've studied a lot of Ted Williams yeah. back in his day, and that's something that he was kind of way ahead of his time on, was knowing which pitches he could handle and which pitches he wasn't very good at hitting. And having the discipline to lay off the pitches that aren't in your zone is huge. Of course, no one knows when Stefanik will get that third call, but he's taking advantage of this time. Minor league accolades are great, and I've had a couple player of the weeks here and, you know, an all-star selection, but, you know, the ultimate goal is to, to help the big league ball club win games and, you know, really just trying to get that work in and playing hard here every day in hopes that I get that call.